In our last demonstration, we purposely put a divide by zero exception here inside of our orchestration. Now, let's suppose that you have unexpected errors. How can you handle those? And so in BizTalk, there is a shape here called a scope. So if you say insert, insert shape and then scroll down, it's slightly off the video screen here is scope. Or I can also go here to the toolbox, find the word scope, and drag it over here. And the scope is very much like a try catch block in VB.net or C sharp. And so the curly braces indicate what's inside the, inside the scope. So I can actually drag my expression shape now and put inside the scope. And then here you need to set something on your scope called the transaction type. So we'll talk about transactions in perhaps a future demo. Right now we're just trying to show how to catch an exception. So we don't want a transaction, we'll just say none. Um, the scope we can give a name, like here, like catch errors. And then to actually handle the error, what you do is you click on the curly brace at the top of the scope, and you click here, New Exception Handler. And it builds a little control block. And this is basically like doing, this is like your try, and this is like your catch in a normal .NET program. So right now, look here, we have to set one of these two things in the property window. So you click on the exception, and you come over here, and Look what, look, look what is available for exception object type. You can either say general exception, or what I usually do is go for the .NET exception, and then I'll go over here to system exception. Find system exception, by the way, it's in an MS Core Lib. Then click system, and then go over here and find exception. So now you give a variable name here for what your exception is. So like you could just put EX. And then here, so if we get an exception, we copy some code down here. We can copy and paste these shapes and uh, handle divide by zero. And so here, we just want to set X equal to zero instead of getting an exception. So that's what I wanted to teach. Um, if you want to end the video right now, you can, but I'll actually deploy this and run it just to prove that it works. So you, if you want to see that, you can hang on to the video. Otherwise, you just stop it right now. So I'm going to go up and deploy my solution again. So I did my deploy. And by the way, I did lose my pipeline and maps again. So I have to reset those every time I do a deploy. I then restart the BizTalk host. And then I go drop my file. file has been grabbed and now we're going to query again in hat and now you can see here that the orchestration ran to completion this time whereas last time the orchestration had a divide by zero problem this time it actually ran all the way through so in this video we basically learned how to do a try catch which is done with a BizTalk shape called a scope you add the scope you then right click here and add a new exception handler and by the way you can have more than one exception and then it works just like .NET you put your most specific one, specific exceptions first and your most general ones last and so you could have like a math exception here an XML exception here and then a general system exception at the bottom if you wanted to so that concludes this demo on how to use the scope shape to handle exceptions